Hi, I'm Theo Mason. Welcome to my kitchen again. We're going to get started and we're going to make a delicious holiday appetizer. Uh, one of my favorites for Christmas. Um, this is a cheese ball, um, but I'm kind of quadrupling the recipe today. So we're going to call it a mega cheese ball because I'm going to be sharing this with some other people. So come along with me. If you haven't already, like my video subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so you can uh, know when I post a new video and come on let's go make that cheese ball I'm ready to get in the kitchen and I'm ready to get it made so I can have some cheese ball and crackers so here's the ingredients we need for the mega cheese ball that I'm going to be making we're going to need about one and a half cups of chopped walnuts, uh, about a cup and a half of green onions chopped. We'll also need some Worcestershire sauce, uh, just a little dab of Louisiana hot sauce. I need four jars of the dried beef and we'll chop these up. Um, and I need four eight ounce uh, packages of cream cheese and make sure that that is softened at room temperature and we're going to get to making this cheese ball so come along and join me and we'll get this cheese ball rolling all right we're gonna got everything in it in the kitchen aid I'm using my dough hook attachment. Um, okay, so I had to change out the attachment to the uh, scraper because the dough hook one was, wasn't working very well. But this is mixing it a lot better. I'll be right back when we get this finished up and I'll put it on the platter. All right, and there you have it, the finished product. I just put on my favorite crackers, which is Wheat Thins, um, but a lot of people love it with Ritz crackers. Um, so definitely a good flavor of cheese ball with the Ritz. Um, so just whatever favorite cracker you love to eat your cheese ball with and it's there it is decorated on a little christmas platter ready to go all right well you guys have a good day and uh merry christmas and happy holidays um from my kitchen to yours